Growth is just about the most important attribute that any business can have, and yet only about 10% of businesses ever manage to grow sustainably and profitably. One of the reasons that companies struggle to grow in this way is because they miss a big growth secret. Most of the time when we're shopping, we're shopping from a small portfolio of favorite products. I call them autopilot brands. We've chosen those brands subconsciously, we bond with them emotionally, and once we've chosen them, we screen out attempts by other brands to attract our attention and persuade us to switch. The secret of, of growth is simply learning how to become the autopilot brand in your category, but that's difficult. To explore this subject further, I talked to Chris Clark, Group Head of Marketing at HSBC. When we ask people to rate First Direct's um, you know, call centre service, mm. let's say out of 100, mm. we get 89. Mm. When we ask them to rate you know, their internet banking mm. service, we get 86. Mm. When we ask them to rate their ATM network, we mm. get 84. Mm. Uh, when we ask HSBC customers to rate their ATM network, mm. we get 64. Mm. And it's the same ATM that's network. Same. But there you go. And that's the that's brand the effect that sits exactly. in the back That's of the of perfect this. illustration, isn't it? You know. But if you ask the First Direct customer, uh, and we told them that First Direct we're going to start a service like Uber next week. Uh, how would you rate it? Yeah. They'd rate it higher than Uber. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of not, yeah. it's daft stuff. Learning how to become an autopilot brand is difficult. In order to attain that status, you need to be able to connect emotionally as well as sell yourself rationally. Most companies are very good at the rational side, not very good at the emotional side. But the brands that we choose as our autopilots are good at doing both. It's entirely down to allowing our people to be as human as it's humanly possible. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And that is a kind of difficult yeah. thing for a lot of businesses. In days gone by, anyone who ran call centers, yeah. whether you were mobile phone companies or banks or retailers, your job was to get the person off the phone yeah. as fast as yeah. possible. Your KPI, you know, first rate, yeah. never embraced any of that. Yeah. Yeah. And they had some very sound management. Yeah. You've understood the kind of secret sauce that's in the walls and they've hung on to it and we used to recruit for personality and then we teach you the banking and that used to be the, the ad the job ad that used to go out for you know call center reps was you know we want the right people we'll teach you about how banks work i'm andy brent i'm a contributing editor for hot topics and i've recently published this book the growth director's secret